Today's guest launched a business that makes haircuts more convenient and accessible. Arthur Eliab joins us to talk about founding Get Cuts and how he helps barbers to work smarter, not harder. This is School of Hustle, the show where we find advice and inspiration from people who are making their own way. I'm Shannon, the VP of Social here at GoDaddy, and I live and breathe the hustle of business. Today we're filming from the hustle of it all at the WeWork Times Square in New York City. Hey everybody, let's give Arthur a big welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, I, I couldn't not have you because mm -hmm. Jonathan on my team, Noodles Master, Master? <laughs> Noodles Master Jonathan loves your business. Mm -hmm. His hair always looks fantastic. Um, but I, I want to talk about Get Cuts mm -hmm. because sure. it's not your typical salon or barber shop. Right. Tell us how Get Cuts works. So Get Cuts is uh, mainly business to business. Uh, we bring our barbers, our stylists, our groomers to corporate locations, to office places, and to uh, um, many different workplaces and be able to provide a service that uh, today in New York City is very hard to come, a come across by because people are always so busy. So we bring the service into their office and we, give, and we provide all these haircuts, shaves, and stylists, and also uh, makeup artists, yeah. all, all that fun stuff. Well, it's fantastic all because you have a partnership with WeWork, right, where we're yeah. filming today. Yes. And it, it's that accessibility and convenience, and people love that, especially in New York. Exactly. WeWork, right, is like the perfect example. They have so many different, vast majority of businesses here, right? Yeah. Small business, big businesses, yeah. and people are always busy and in a rush, and they don't necessarily have that time to go downstairs and get a clean up, get a haircut, mm -hmm. so we bring the services to them. It's a really cool model. I know your clients love it. You yeah. used to work in a barber shop, and yes. you made a transition into launching this business that brings the convenience into the workplace. Yes. How did you make that transition? So uh, I worked at a, uh, I, I pretty much uh, worked uh, with my father when I was uh, uh, like 15 years old, even younger. He used to bring me into his, into his barber shop in Long Island and it was more like disciplinary and he would like have me sweep up the floors, wash the mirrors, clean, you know, take care of the cash register. Um, and slowly but surely I started picking up the trade. Um, what happened was uh, about after I finished college, uh, I went down to the city on 23rd Street and 7th Avenue and worked for uh, a friend of mine, Sam Shalpayev, who, uh, who owns Made Man Barbershop on 23rd and 7th. Fantastic business. We worked with him for about four years until starting this and the transition was a little bit, it was a little rough because the hours were extremely long. We used to, I used to get out of my house at 7 a.m. and come back home at 9 p.m five days a week, more or less. Wow. Yeah, exhausting days, exhausting. Yeah, and on your feet um, for most of it. On your feet for most of the time, yeah. yes, for sure. Uh, that was one of the biggest reasons why I had to kind of change up the, the industry and, and leave, leave that space and look for a different model of business. Uh, and my next question, maybe mm -hmm. you've just spoken to it a little bit, mm -hmm. but why was it important to you to launch your own company and be your own boss? So the main reason why I had to leave uh, from a 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. job was because uh, I had my second child on the way. Um, I wasn't home for my first kid many of the time. Uh, so that was my biggest, biggest priority was to leave, find, uh, find a more, um, what's, what's that word? Find, find a more work-life balance. Right. Right, and be able to make what I make work in a full day schedule half that time. The service and the idea is really important and necessary. Everybody yeah. loves this, but I can imagine to start breaking ground and getting an incredible client list like you have. You have hotels, you have sports clubs, you have WeWork, you yeah. have office buildings. How do you go about growing that client list? With our line of work, um, we have usually the client sitting in the chair for 20 to 30 minutes mm -hmm. and not only are we developing you know a, a friendship but we're also developing networking right. 
and we we build like uh, a, a pretty solid friendship and we build a network together and say hey like you know hey you're from WeWork okay cool um, how about you bring us in try us out and you know they have us over and they try our services they love it and it becomes a reoccurring uh, service for, for the company. I've heard from friends who, who I respect say that those loose ties sometimes can have a very big impact on you. Yeah, it has so you, you talk to everybody, right? Yeah. And it does have an advantage. And I know that's how you're even on the show. Right. Because Jonathan came down and yeah. you had him in your chair, right? Yes, and exactly. and you have a gift to do that, to connect with people and then yeah. kind of see where that relationship can go. Exactly. How do you go about vetting people to work for you because you know to your point that time in the chair and that relationship is so important so you have to implicitly trust who you hire to stand by you and your brand and your company and exactly. make you proud and do a great job so how do you think about finding people to work for you so quality control is one of the most important aspects of our business um, it is hard but at the same time we look at character and we see like you know their values and their character and if they're more easily uh, uh, wanting to be worked with and be you know working on your team uh, not just like a drag like type of day you know but training is always easy but character is hard to give over pretty much if you have a great character and you know how to you know use the clippers and the scissors pretty decently you have a position with get cuts um, I know that you mentioned earlier that hair is in your DNA. Your yeah. father had a shop, you said, and I and yeah. I believe um, don't you come from three generations three of barbers? Generations. Yeah. And how how is growing up in a family of barbers like influencing you today? <laughs> so my grandfather back in Russia, he used to he used to be a barber. Uh, he taught my father, his son, and my father kind of gave it over to me it was it was really really interesting I mean I really did for me it was kind of normal to grow up in a family like you know my uncle's a barber and then my yeah. grandfather's a barber my father my brother knows how to cut hair but my brother he went into accounting he's an accountant mm -hmm. now uh, my cousins are in pharmacy school finishing up to become pharmacists and then we have lawyers and doctors in the family now but I kind of wanted to pursue that that you know the whole barber industry because at the same time you're making people look good and you, you, you're, giving, you're giving people the, um, uh, you know, they feel good about themselves. I, yeah, when I get my hair done, I walk out feeling super confident. Exactly. You know, Absolutely. You, you pass over that confidence. It's, it's what people love. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's, I think it's a, it's a great thing. It's a great trait to know, you know, I give my kids and, their haircuts and everything. And to your point earlier, how when someone's in your chair for 30 right. minutes, people like to talk. And, yeah. and I know for myself, people who have done my hair have become almost a therapist. Yeah. Like, right, there's, there's a relationship to the person who cuts your hair, and, and that time is also very important to people, let alone the outcome, which is the great haircut, right? Exactly. So it's exactly. an experience for everybody overall. It is. And, and you, I imagine, will be expanding, perhaps? Will you, how will you be growing your business? Um, so right now we're trying to, we, we don't want to grow too fast where we can hurt ourselves. Yep. We had offers from different investors, various different investors and mm. friends of mine. Um, uh, but uh, we're not really sure if we still want to take that path. Okay. Uh, we had, we had uh, people approach us to go nationwide, to different, different uh, states. But um, right now what we're planning to, uh, to do is just build our partnerships with our you know sport clubs hotels and continue building that reputation so in, in a matter of maybe six months to a year we'll, we'll think about expanding um, in California in Boston in Chicago have you ever thought about becoming like an app and being more of an yes. on-demand for like just a, a person as opposed to a business so I'm not sure if you're gonna ask what's next but that's what's next we're Is, coming out with an app soon yeah are you serious yeah okay yeah no we, we yeah. will do that <laughs> that's cool um, and there's probably lots of ways to answer this I'd love to know what do you love most about what you do I think people look good yeah. well <laughs> thank you very much for sharing all of that with us you're welcome it's time thank to you. uh speed things up a bit and play hustle time now, I'm going to ask for 60 seconds on the clock. Large dogs or lap dogs? Large dogs. Chardonnay, yay or nay? Chardonnay. Fireplace or fire pit? Fireplace. What's the first app you open in the morning? Uh, weather. Song that is currently stuck in your head? My wife. 
Aliens, fact or fiction? Aliens. Fact or fiction? Fact. Great. Yeah. Uh, you have to lose <laughs> access forever. Do you pick search engines or social media? Search engines. One thing you'd want in a desert island with you? Water. Favorite pastime, music or movies? Music. Music or podcasts? Podcasts. Three things in your closet right now? Uh, um, let's see. My closet, my pants, uh, no, my dress shoes, dress, yeah, mm. dress shoes, my, uh, my uh, suit. Okay. Dream, dream dinner guest. Say it again? Dream dinner guest. Dream dinner guest, uh, Jennifer Aniston. Best place <laughs> you've traveled. Best place I've traveled. Uh, have to be Israel. When I dance, I look like. Oh. What do you think? When Finish the sentence. When I, I dance, I look like. Uh, what's the name? Stevie Wonder. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, let's see how we did. We did one, two, three, four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh. <laughs> Favorite part of your day? Morning. Best piece of advice you've ever gotten? You can either live to succeed in your in your own life, or you can be used as a resource to help someone else be successful. So you are not living as a resource. You yeah, are living. I try not to. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> On the flip side, what piece of advice is the worst piece of advice? Don't do it. Stop. Yeah. It's too hard. It's too hard. Yeah. Don't do it. No thanks. How do you use your career to inspire others? Be strong, I guess, and mm -hmm. keep persistence, keep going. Ever felt like walking away? Yeah. yeah. One thing you still need to learn. Um, how to cook a great steak for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want people to learn from you? Uh, that I don't give up. What's next for you? We're uh, wheeling out an app soon. It's amazing. Yeah. Is the app going to be for businesses or like personal so use of your it, house? It'll, it'll be uh, pretty much for everybody. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, that's a, it's a big move. It's a big move. Who inspires you? My father. And he challenges you. My wife. Well, this last piece of advice is from our favorite entrepreneur, Noodle. Have you met Noodle? You've met Noodle. I've met, right? yeah, I think I've met Noodle. But you have not cut his hair yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I'm trying to persuade uh, his father. I know. <laughs> Do you want to hold him? Do you want me to hold him? You've got a nice little vest. Yes, dude. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. As long as I don't get one of those hair. Yes, that's it. Oh. Okay, so Noodle is inspired by how fast Get Cuts is growing and wants to get his own business off the ground. What advice would you have for someone who wants to pursue a brand new venture? Don't stop, I guess. Uh, keep going. Uh, don't be scared. Uh, yeah, you hear that? Yeah. Don't be scared, Noodle. Don't be scared. Try to, try to go for it and, mm -hmm. you know, you'll succeed. You'll succeed. Do your uh, due diligence and do your research. And uh, yeah, you'll be good, man. You look like a tough cookie. So. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. He a tough is. A cookie, a tough loaf of bread, a whole, cook <laughs> a a whole roll of cookie dough. A little bit of both, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll run away with that advice. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're going to close with a final thought. So I'm mm -hmm. going to read three quotes and ask you to pick the quote that resonates the most with you and why. Yeah. Okay? Sure. Number one. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Number two, when you can't change the direction of the wind, just adjust your sails. Mm -hmm. Number three, identify your problems, but give your power and energy to solutions. I'd have to go with one. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Yeah, and that's kind of what you just told Noodle. Yeah, yeah just keep Perfect. going and you'll find your way. Yeah. <laughs> I would love for you to share with everybody watching how they can follow you. Uh, you can find us on social, uh, at Get Cuts, uh, Instagram. Also, you can find us online, uh, getcuts.com. Uh, you can call us at 212-301-0580. Uh, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle saying, people call? How about text? Can they can they text that number? Yeah, yeah, text yeah. that number too. Sure. See? Yeah. Um, 
I, I really, I really enjoyed listening to your story. What you have, what you have built is mm -hmm. so fascinating. Thank the expansion you. into the app space, I can't even. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you for being I here. Can't wait. It'll be fun. I really hope that everyone enjoyed this conversation. I'm sure everybody did. So I have to ask to follow GoDaddy as well. Not just get cats, but follow GoDaddy across social because we are bringing very interesting and inspirational entrepreneurs every week across YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. So follow GoDaddy and stay tuned because we have more coming every week. See you soon.